Since the legalization of cannabis in Thailand in June 2022, people who study cannabis is an increase in the prevalence of cannabis usage among the youth. My name is Francois René Lamy. I'm a French national. I have a background in philosophy. I have a Bachelor of Philosophy from University in Lille, France. Then I study a Master of Sociology from the University of Lille, France. And in 2008, I left for Australia to study a double PhD in Sociology and Computer Science. And I've been named Assistant Professor in 2019 and recently Associate Professor. So currently I'm working at the Department of Society and Health inside the Faculty of Social Science and Humanities and I'm an associate professor. I'm also the director of the newly established a unit of research health solution research unit. So currently my specialization is computational social science. So I'm mostly teaching about social media data analysis geographical informed system analysis, agent-based modeling, but also drug use, abuse and addiction uh, in the world context as well as in the Thai context. Since the legalization of cannabis in Thailand in June 2022, what has been observed, not by us, but by other uh, people who study cannabis is an increase in the prevalence of cannabis usage among the youth. This is the latest data from last year. What we saw on Twitter data based on our study is generally people are speaking negatively about cannabis. It's bad experience, bad smell, people getting to the hospital, etc. But what we saw also is that there is an increase in the number of advertisements about cannabis. So if you look at Twitter and you look for ganja, you will see a lot of people advertising product to be sold to you. And the more you are exposed to cannabis advertisements, the more likely you will be to initiate, start consuming. So this is something that is concerning, but we need more research to make sure that a lot of advertisement mean more people using and we need more research. So this, um, this project falls under the category of social media data analysis. So it's you mine, you collect tweets from Twitter, you curate, you clean the data, then you can either do a manual Analysis, so that means you take, let's say, 20,000 tweets and you have Thai native speakers that look at those tweets and see what are the main topics, or you do a computational type of analysis using natural language processing and machine learning to categorize the tweet and see what are the most common terms that are close to each other. And then you produce publication or reports based on your findings. If you want to know where efforts should be put, you need to know where are the problems. So one of the first things we were doing is to explore what people are saying online. Is there a lot of negative effect? Is it more and more frequent? Do we have more and more potent forms of cannabis? These kind of things. We needed to see what could be the problem. So what we realize is, as I said earlier, there is a kind of negative attitude toward cannabis, especially because cannabis has been uh, consumed by the youth, very young people, and the opinion is, the public opinion is very against cannabis being used with the youth for very good reason, by the way. It's very harmful for, for young people. But we also saw a lot of very strong cannabis product. One is called DABS or cannabis concentrate. This is very strong and it has been linked to a lot of psychosis, paranoia, 
and etc. So that's what we saw. So we need more effort to prevent and educate people about those potent forms of cannabis. So based on the findings, I have several class about drug use, abuse and addiction. One of them I have included the Thai, uh, what's happening in Thailand about cannabis legalization to show how change in public policies can impact the health of the people. So I am currently teaching some of the findings, some of my findings are currently used to teach that part. So I'm quite proud of two things that happened in the last six months. First, I've been named director of the Health Solution Research Unit at the Faculty of Social Science and Humanity, and I just received my associate professorship a couple of three weeks ago. So this is pretty good. I'm very happy about it. ความรู้ทำให้ทุกอย่างเป็นไปได้มหาวิทยาลัยมหิดลปัญญาของแผ่นดิน